In this video, I'll show you how to add extra fields on your WooCommerce checkout form. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so on our test site here, as you can see, our checkout page is completely different from the default WooCommerce checkout page. And here we're also displaying some additional fields that you wouldn't normally see within your WooCommerce checkout area, right? For example, we're displaying this URL field, this date of birth picker field, and here we also add in a small survey question so the customer can choose where they heard from us and then they can navigate to their checkout page, okay? Okay, so if you wanna create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin by AOVUP. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the all-in-one checkout plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. And then from here, we can just scroll down and make sure we enable the all-in-one checkout plugin. I'm just going to head over to AIO checkout for all-in-one checkout, and then we can start editing our checkout fields. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and create a new checkout form. So I've already got one created, so I'm just going to click on this one here. To add additional fields, we'll just click on this settings icon here, and then we can just drag and drop different fields onto our canvas. So for example, we can select this one here, we can drag it to rearrange it, and we can click on the settings icon to actually customize the detail. So for example, we could say, how did you hear about us? And when we go to appearance, we can customize whether we want to show this half width, maybe a third, or maybe just full width. We can add the options, okay? So for example, we could say search, enter in the value. Um, again, the labels, what the customer will see on the front end, but you get the idea, okay? Since I've already got this type of field on our checkout page, I'm going to X this off and just delete this one here, okay? Because we've already got it here. Um, same for the date of birth field. We'll just drag and drop our date pick a field onto the canvas. Okay, I'm going to delete it because I've already got it here. Okay, we can customize the label. So again, this is what the customer will see on the front end. If this was an age field, then maybe you want to add a minimum age. So for example, we could say to check out the customer needs to enter in their date of birth and they need to be at least 21 to be able to check out on this store. Okay. We can also add conditional fields, but on the current version of this particular plugin I'm using, it's not on this version. So I'll leave a link on screen to a dedicated video. So once you've added all the fields that you need on your canvas, the next step is to navigate over to design. You can use your theme default design or one of our pre-made templates, or you can create a design from scratch, okay? So we'll head over to our thank you page and it's a similar setup to the checkout page. We get to choose our thank you page design. Again, if you wanna see more on how to actually create a custom thank you page, I'll leave a link on screen and in the description as well. So let's head over to settings. Then we just want to make sure we enable this checkout form. I'm going to go ahead and set this as our global checkout form, meaning it will show for all customers. We'll give it a name. It's just for internal purposes and we can ignore this slug section for now. Where it says applies to, since we've set this as our global checkout, it will run for all customer type. Okay. Okay, so for our place order button, we can rename it and we'll do that here. So for example, we could say complete order. Close checkout. We can ignore these options. If you only enable Google auto address complete, I'll leave a link on screen to a video showing you how to do that as well. So let's just go ahead and hit save changes. And then when we refresh this page, we should see the changes reflected. Okay. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in a comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.